Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today is going to be a trying new makeup video but specifically from brands I've never tried before and I do have five, five brands I've never tried in this video. It's been quite a while since I filmed a trying new makeup video to the point where like I don't even remember the last time I filmed one of these. I will say these products are either products I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus or free samples from Sephora. So these products aren't necessarily brand new to the market, but they are brand new to me. Four of the brands are brands I've had a lot of interest in trying. One of them is one I don't really know much about, so I'm excited to try a product from them. I'll also show you guys the rest of the makeup I use on my face, so it won't be all new makeup. It's raining rather hard outside. I don't think it's raining loud enough for the camera to pick it up, but if you hear something like a monsoon, just know. There it is. It got really loud just now. Just know. This is the only time I have time to film this week. So if you're interested in seeing me try on some new makeup, which I'm like excited and nervous about at the same time, then keep on watching. Let's go. I don't have a new primer today. Like I do also have new products that are not new brands to me. So maybe I could do another one of these videos in a few weeks, but I just wanted to try to pick out brands that I know I've never tried before just to spice it up a little. But this is a primer I've been trying to unofficially pan it's the physician's formula spotlight primer it's really not a favorite of mine it's okay now you can't really tell how much is left in here but i don't know if you're going to see but there definitely is like a window right there so i'm guessing it's getting low and i would love to be able to you know remove a primer from my inventory and count this towards my end of the year empties it's just like a very basic glowy primer but it's just it's not one of my all-time favorites to be completely honest my all-time favorite is the becca backlight i i mean i do have some left i just i haven't found something i like more okay so i'm going to start with a concealer i actually have two products from rare beauty that i'm going to use in this video i have this little sample set from sephora and i have six different shades so i was actually going to try to both conceal with this and attempt to cream bronze with this since i have all these shades i think i could use this 160c as a concealer under my eyes maybe touch it up with this 180 and then maybe use this 450 to bronze. We'll have to see about that. Uh, I feel like I never use these little packets when I get them. So <laughs> I thought, why not, just, why not try it out in this video? I don't know how many uses are in one of these. I also feel like I've heard very mixed reviews on this concealer. Oh dear, just kind of like squirted out into my hand. I am making a terrible mistake, I think. Like I said, I've never tried anything from Rare Beauty. It's not that I don't want to, I just, I feel like Rare Beauty came out <laughs> right after I had Phoebe and I just haven't had the time or money to really like get into <laughs> makeup again. There is a lot in here. I was not anticipating that. I'm gonna have to like put this in a little container. <laughs> this is the one shade, okay. I wanted to open the next one though. Hmm, this is very messy. Maybe I will not open the next one and I'll just use this shade to spot conceal a little bit with. Uh, don't worry, this will not be the only foil packet you see in this video because fingers can't be choosers. All right, so I'm going to start with my Love is the Foundation brush and just start like tapping it out of my cheeks. I mean, there's definitely coverage. If you have tried Rare Beauty, what is your favorite product? I don't really know if there's like, that's the thing. I also feel like there's not a specific product that has like interested me. I, I would, I, I guess maybe their cream cheek products would interest me the most. And now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Wow, that is coverage. That is quite good coverage. This shade is a little lighter than I prefer. It's kind of like a shade where I would mix a deeper shade with it because that's a little bit brighter than I typically like my concealer, but wow, the coverage on it is really nice looking. So far, I'm impressed. There's there's quite a bit left in there, so I'm going to have to figure out how to preserve this so I can use it again. I'll come back for bronzer in a minute. So for foundation, I realized I have four Pat McGrath foundation sample packs. Again, I'm not too sure what shade I would be. I'm going to guess I'm the light shade. I mean, I have light, light, medium, 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 deep, and deep. So I'm going to try light too. Uh, I've never tried anything with Pat McGrath before, so this is a first. I'm trying to think how. This this um, shade is a little bit warm for me personally. 
Um, I'm just going to stick my brush right in this packet and see how it looks. Hmm. Okay, so that was like one, one swipe of that. So I'm almost going to tempted to pick up the light medium to just add a little bit because it's a lot deeper, but I might be able to just like use it to just touch up at least around the perimeter. Just add a little, a little more because I am wearing some self tanner. So I'm trying to be mindful and that's why I didn't pick any of the actual foundations from brands I haven't tried yet because they were all too light since I'm self tanned. So I figured I had options here. I will say one of these was definitely enough for a full face of coverage. Hmm. My nose is very dry, I will say that. I'm not super loving the way it's sitting on my skin, but I do feel like looking in the viewfinder, my skin looks very glowy, which I appreciate. I'm not gonna write it off as the worst. I just feel like it's emphasizing a lot. Maybe if I just go over it a little with my sponge just to tap it out a bit, that will help. My nose is peeling so much. I don't actually feel like that made a big difference, but I will say still like looking in the viewfinder, it looks very glowy, which I can appreciate. Now I do want to carefully try to use this to bronze. See how that goes. I'm going to go so light with this. I do not want a lot of product because I also don't know how quickly it's going to dry down. Like, oh my goodness, I barely put any on. Okay, a little goes a long way with this concealer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. This is not going the way I necessarily hoped it would go. I feel like I went in with like a teeny tiny dot and it still was like way too much. I wonder if I just kind of tap around the edges just to make it not so harsh. This e.l.f. sponge is forever my favorite though. I have not found a sponge that I like more than this one. Okay. I feel like it's like from far away, we're looking okay, so I'll take it. Next, I have two products from, from Danessa Myricks and I'm so excited to try it out. This is the Vision Flush. I've got both of these from Ipsy and I have the shades Butter and Bread and Tiara, so I thought I could cream blush and cream highlight. I don't know anything about this formula personally, I think, I mean, what I know is I love watching like Instagram videos from Danessa Myricks, but I don't know anything about this product. So I'm going to go very lightly and assume it's very pigmented. So this is the shade, it's called Bread and Butter. Yes, correct, very pigmented, <laughs> it is, okay. So what I'm gonna do is similar to the how I was bronzing with the concealer is I'm going to start with my brush just to spread it then I'm gonna go in with my sponge and help melt it all together. This shade is, it's a bit more pink, pinky than I sometimes go with blushes, but I actually think that blended out really nicely. Let's have a couple extra spots up here. Oh, well, I don't think that looks too good. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the more highlighty shade, which I can't tell if this is going to work on my skin tone, but again, I'm going to go in very gently because it's more of like a champagne -y shade. I think I'm gonna go right in with my sponge with this one just so it really melts right in. Oh, that is like beaming metallic, okay. You know, I'm honestly okay with more of a gl super blinding highlighter that's a cream because I feel like it melts in a lot better than a powder that sits on top of everything, I feel like. I'm trying to like, hmm. I almost feel like I wanna add a little bit more blush, but only go in with my sponge and not the brush. This could be a terrible idea. It could also help blend in with the highlighter. And then, I mean, one of my tricks I like to do is I like to use concealer to blend out a little. So I'm gonna go in with the teeniest bit here and here. Like literally the tiniest bit. 
I mean, it definitely also helps that it's like where my dark circles are, but I'll use it and I'll just kind of help soften the edges so that like my blush and bronzer aren't like in my eyes. So right now that is all the cream products that are in today's video besides like lips. So I feel like I have to be extra critical because of how expensive the brands I'm using are. Although I would say Rare Beauty isn't the most expensive, but hmm. You know, so far, the Pat McGrath foundation is hard for me because like I actually think my skin looks very glowy and nice, but it's a very, very expensive foundation. And I don't know if it's my opinion worth what I'm seeing in the mirror because I really, really, really love the Fenty Ease Drop and that's like a fraction of the price of the Pat McGrath. But I do think that the, the Vision Flush looks really, really nice and glowy. And the Rare Beauty Concealer is looking good so far. It's not looking too dry, which I very much appreciate. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set under my eyes. This is the powder I've been using for a while, the Bare Min Minerals Powder Duo. This is so old. <laughs> I think I got this when I first started YouTube, <laughs> but it's like nice and lightweight. So I like using it to set my concealer lately. And I'm using a Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. Does Luxie still exist? I feel like I used to get Luxie brushes in subscription services constantly, and I feel like they that stopped. Did they, um, has anyone heard from them? Are they doing well? Are they going under? Cause I love my Luxie brushes. I think they're some of my favorite brushes, but I haven't gotten any new brushes in a while or heard anything from the brand. Then to set my eyelids and uh, my brow area, I'm going in with my e.l.f. finishing powder. This is a powder I'm currently trying to fully use up. So I'm just setting right around here. And now I'm going to go in and do my brows. This has been the combo I've been using for a while now. I have the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Deep Brown. This is one of my all time favorite pencils. I'm actually very excited. I have a new brow pencil coming in my March Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and I'm very excited for it. And then for brow gel, I am still over here trying to pan my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. It is it is my Mary Poppins bag. It is never ending. Now, before I go in with eyeshadow from a new brand, I'm just going to bronze with my powder bronzer really quick. This is the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade Ambra. I'm gonna go in with this Moda Multipurpose Powder Brush. So the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use is another product I got from an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is a brand I've never heard of, Shades by Shan. And this is their Neutral Edition 9 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. A lot of the times I save my palettes for giveaways because I barely wear eyeshadow anymore, but this one just like hit me in the neutral lover. So I'm going to do an eye look right now and see what I think of this palette. This eyeshadow brush I'm using is from Profusion and it's their pointed crease eyeshadow brush. I feel like I've barely had any time to sit down and film lately. I've been so busy. We've been doing so many projects around the house and Phoebe's walking now, so <laughs> even more on our toes than we were before. They do pick up, a, these eyeshadows do pick up a lot of product when I dip in. Are there any specific um, videos you guys are looking to see in March? I have, I'm trying to make a list of videos I wanna um, get made, get filmed this month. I was wondering if there's anything you guys were hoping to see. One of my things I do is I usually grab the um, hourglass ambient lighting powder and I always use it to diffuse the edge of my sh eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I think of this palette. I haven't really decided if I like it. This is a La Russe tapered blending. Oh, look at that. I got, can we see that? That's a, that's amazing. I basically wiped it off. It kind of looked like I was trying to contour my nails a little at one point. <laughs> it seems to be blending okay. Okay. I think I'm gonna go in with a shimmer now. I'm probably thinking the lightest shimmer. So for mattes, I used these four mattes and I'm gonna go in with this shimmer. But first I'm gonna go with my NYX Glitter Primer. I'm just gonna touch up around it. Okay, now I'm gonna do some eyeliner. I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera because I need to change my battery. It seems like my batteries are not lasting much through my videos lately. I'm using the Physicians Formula Waterproof Eyeliner and then this Smashbox, 
gel eyeliner, eyeliner that I am unofficially trying to pan and then I'll be right back. The wings had a mind of their own today. However, I think the eyeshadow really looks pretty. I really like that shimmery shade. It's very much a me palette. Now I'm going to blush. I thought this palette, this Lovecraft Beauty palette that I got probably a few years ago in Nipsey would look good. I was thinking of maybe mixing these two shades. This angled brush from Japanesque. It's more of a matte blush palette and I thought a little matte with all the shimmer and glow we got going on. And then I will use, again, something else I'm unofficially panning is this Balm Voyage uh, highlighter from the Balm. I want to finish a highlighter and this is what I'm going for. This is the uh, e.l.f. highlighting brush that they did in collaboration with Nabella Noor. I'm just going to top off the little glow. Now, a lot of the times the way I fix all the uh, harshness on my cheeks is with this Becca Light, uh, what is it called? Light shifter powder. Of course, <laughs> this isn't like something I could buy again when I run out. But it kind of reminds me of um, the ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. It was honestly why I originally bought it because I was looking for a dupe and I, I do enjoy it quite a bit but I usually use it just to blend everything together. Speaking of the ambient lighting powders I am going to go with diffused light here and put that under my eyes. Okay now I'm going to set with the spray that's in my project pan the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. I have about that much left. Will it be done by my update? I have no idea. It's going a lot slower than I expected. Okay, while that's all soaking in, I'm going to go in with the lip, the Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Thankful. Again, I got this in the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I'm very excited to try this out. I'm hoping it's like the pigmented shade it looks like here, since it, even though it's a lip balm. Oh yeah. Looks more like a lipstick to me, honestly. Mm, it's very pigmented. Maybe I should have gone in with a lip liner. I can't tell you the last time I wore this type of shade on my lip. It definitely feels very soft. I don't know how much use I could get out of it if it is so deep. Like my lips touch a lot of baby. So we'll see about that. Mascara. I'm so excited. I've wanted to try Rowan for so long. Of course I would love to try one of their quads but I did get their Cake Lash mascara last year in Ipsy and I'm so excited to try this out. I am so picky about mascara so it's funny that I'm so excited to try this one out but the thing is, if I do find that it flakes or smudges, I do have the Huda Beauty waterproof top coat, which I really have found saves the mascaras I absolutely hate. So hopefully I like this. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, here we go. I will say I'm not usually into bristle wands. I more prefer the like silicone, the silicone spiky bristles, but let's see what this does. Okay, this side has one coat, this side has no coats. So far, not super impressed, but I will go in with two coats and see what I think after two coats. Okay. I like it. I wouldn't say right off the bat, it looks like an all time fave. I will not be putting this on right now because I still want to like wear it throughout the day and see what I think. But I do just want to just tiny bit. And there you have it, the finished look. Let's see what I think. Overall, I feel like my skin looks pretty good. I'm going to guess it's the Pat McGrath foundation that's making my skin look so like, even though it has a lot of coverage, I feel like it still looks alive. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't look like, I think if it was like a flat matte, it would be very unflattering, but I feel like it looks very skin-like with still having a lot of coverage. If I had to pick a standout product today, I mean, I think the Rare Beauty Concealer looks really good. I also really like the, the Danessa Myricks products. The Rare Beauty uh, Lip Balm. I'm gonna have to see how it wears because like I said, like I kiss Phoebe a lot and if this is what it's gonna be like, I can't, that's not gonna work. And I also really like this eyeshadow. I don't know anything about this brand, Shades by Shan, but I actually really think that shimmer looks really, really pretty. I feel confident. I mean, sometimes I do these videos and I feel like there's no way I could go out looking like this after, but I feel like this isn't, like a look where I would feel comfortable going out and like having people see me. Not that I leave my house or anyone ever sees me, but you know what I mean, right? 
But yeah, this was the video. Let me know if you still like trying new makeup videos. Like I said, I do have products. They just weren't from brands I've never tried before. I wanted to switch it up for this video. And let me know if you guys have tried any of these products from these brands or if you have favorites from the brands I tried in this video, let me know in the comments down below. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.